Hi, this is Dr. Lucas Brazil. I have the largest YouTube ch channel in the world about tricolage with over 150 million views. In order to bring information and tips about hair loss, statics, and health problems to the whole world, I create a version with videos in English. Welcome and enjoy! Do you suffer from baldness with hair loss and have been looking for natural alternatives to fight this problem and found the Peruvian maca? Does it really work? I want to talk to you about this today. We see a lot of natural things from herbs that are miracles and we want to know if it really works. It's important to remember them that the relation to natural products studies are scarce because it's not in the interest of the industry to invest in studies to investigate something that cannot be patented and generate money. So this limits our scientific knowledge a little. It limits the production of scientific articles. But we managed to find something interesting. So a 2007 study used mice as guinea pigs and used testosterone to create a prostate hyperplasia, the benignant prostatitic hyperplasia, and then the Peruvian map was used to check what the effect is and it was not that rats, it's very important to note that this was was done in, in not in humans but rats, it was actually had a reduction in the prostate hyperplasia with the rat prostate. And related to the post-conversion effect of DHT, in some way maca may have helped preventing the binding of DHT with the androgen receptor. Remember that then that this experiment was done on rats, not on people. It does not mean that in Guinea pig it works and it will gonna work for human too. But as I said, the industry is not interesting to do this kind of studies. Another interesting study also reported now in humans, semen count, sperm production, sperm mobility in relation to maca and in relation to use of the placebo. So this 2015 study says that you study used a placebo control group and people who use maca to assess sperm parameters in relation to sperm motility and the fertility and it was observed that after the 12 week period there was improvement in the parameters of the sperm. They had improvement in fertility and related to hormone levels. Very important to note that it did not improve, did not increase the hormones. It simply improved the sperm level, improved the fertility. So these two studies show that the there may be a relationship. It may be because science is low, the science moves very slow, very safe steps are not the same as we see very fast that people start using supplement and they say that's wonderful. Science investigates little by little. But in relation to these effects, it then suggests that there may be a benefit in the hair. Remember that DHG the, is the villain of the baldness, is what makes their hair thin and weak. So if you manage to block the DHT in some way, it ends up having a better hair growth response. So there are just a few scientific articles. It is difficult to find quality science information in relation to these natural products. But then the Peruvian makeup in the future with more studies can be a lie to combating the problem of baldness in hair loss. Always be aware when you hear that there is a natural product that will end up with the hair loss. We must go after scientific information to check if it really works, if it is safe, if you do not have any other side effects. Subscribe to receive every week new videos, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, there is a lot of tips there too. Would like to know more about our products, check our website here in the description, eclairword.com. Thanks for watching, here's Dr. Lucas Brazil, see you in the next videos.